Celebrities might prefer to anchor their yacht far away in the Bay of Cannes, but for those who want to be seen, the best place to park it is just behind the palace of the festival in Yacht Row. You've got yachts starting down here, and they go down probably like half a kilometer past the palais. I guess he's got a farm out. <laughs> Pascal Bono is trying to license four movies during the festival. He says renting a yacht is the most cost-effective way to set up shop in Cannes. Not only do we use it to conduct business, but we actually sleep here. We've got three different places where we can have meetings, uh, lunches, and dinners. And then obviously, you know, at night there's, you know, cocktails and, you know, parties going on as well. But be warned, partying on a boat has its dangers. You have people that fall off yachts, right? We had to fish a few out of the out of the water already. Jeanette Burling has been renting a yacht in Cannes for the past 10 years. She recently co-financed a movie starring Halle Berry, and hosting clients on board is one way to reward them for their money. We usually use the yachts to offer our investors a little bit of a sparkle of Hollywood. Because we work with a lot of high net worth individuals who don't just invest in movies to get rid of their money, but also to have a little bit of fun. Renting a yacht during the festival doesn't come cheap. Prices often go above $100,000 a week. But it does create unforgettable memories, like last year when Pascal went to party on a mega yacht with director Martin Scorsese. <laughs> But then Leonardo DiCaprio showed up. Marty left that boat to go on the boat next to an even bigger yacht. Angus Bennett, Bloomberg, Cannes.